Alright, hey everybody, so I've been getting into some hacking, like, shell commands, wireless hacking, some really cool stuff. And after long, long nights and days of studying and researching and trying really hard to, like, find a way, I finally came up with somewhat of an idea. So, if you go to your settings, I'm just going to try to show you guys to make it more legit. Screen lock, pattern, right there seems good, continue. Alright, so we have a pattern set, we want to get into this, so we want to get into this phone, but there's a pattern on it. Now, you need, for, if you want to hack someone else's phone, you're going to need a thing called an OTG cable. It's a cable that connects your charger thingy to their charger thingy, and lets you pretty much access to the data. Or if you have a tablet, you can use a USB adapter, and it, you know, do your thing. So, the way, basic way I'm going to explain this is, um, I was going through a whole bunch of things in my phone, and I went to my data dot data, you know, doing my hex editing stuff, and I tried to check my, my system, and in here I found a gesture dot key, and I kind of did a little more research on that, and, you know, I, it's pretty much your pattern. Your pattern is saved as a gesture dot key. So... If we delete that, you know, the key is gone. The pattern is undone, and we have full access to the phone. So, using the USB adapter, their phone can be completely locked, and this tutorial is going to teach you how to fix that small problem. So, an Android terminal emulator is a free app off the Play Store. Just look up Android, and it'll probably already give you the result. And, uh, yeah, download it. Free, no ads, really cool. Second thing you're going to need is Roots. Roots, I have two tutorials on this that are really easy, no PC, and um, I'm sorry if I'm not really saying it clearly, because I'm a little mad right now, and I'm not good at making YouTube videos. <laughs> Anyways, so what you do from here, you'll grant super user permission, it'll ask you, can we grant it, and you'll be, you'll be, you'll say yes. So from here, you'll um, once your phone is connected, like right now, we're gonna say an imaginary phone is right to the left of us, and we have it connected. You're gonna say ADB devices. ADB stands for Android Debugging Bridge. It'll say Daemon started successfully, and it'll give you the list of attached devices. Now, we have no devices attached right now, but we're just gonna say we came up with the results. So from here, you're gonna say ADB show, this means we can run these commands on their phone. But as you can see, <laughs> anyways, we're in the imaginary device right now. So we're going to say cd for copy data. And we're going to go into the data.system. This is where the, the um, pattern key is kept. System, system, sorry. I need to sound it out. And now we're in the system. Now rm stands for delete in shell pretty much. So I think it means remove. I'm not exactly sure. You're going to say remove, star thingy, I know the name of that, I'll think of it, <laughs> dot key, don't forget the dots. Now, spelling is really vital in this, so make sure not to mess up anything, because your phone, if you delete, like if you factory set it, the files that make it factory reset, you can erase those, and you could literally make your phone destroyed. So, be careful when, what you erase, unless you're doing it on someone else's phone that you have full custody, like, permission to do it on. Now, once we are here, you'll see that nothing happened, but if we go to our settings, security, we have no screen lock. Now, my phone keeps freezing if I turn my screen off, but I'm going to try it anyways. Yeah, see? Screen lock's gone. We're good. So, I'm just going to show you that again. Security, pattern. We'll make a complicated one. Yes. That's the hardest, unguessable pattern ever. <laughs> Terminal emulator. <laughs> rm star thingy dot key ta-da screen lock's gone we can turn the screen off and on the security password is gone nothing we are good to go now this is for if the target phone is rooted if not i have a separate tutorial which is slightly more complicated but it's going to introduce you to so many new things and you guys are just going to love it now I'm not going to end the video just here yet. You can leave now. You're done. You have what you need. But if you want to know a little more, you know, 
check this out. Um, not only do you can you just erase their data, but you can erase any data. You can erase their apps, their settings, anything. But you can also install apps from your phone. So if you have like a virus program, I'm not saying virus. I mean <clears throat> friendly application that you can that they you have permission to access or implant on their phone. And what you can do is you can press like ADB install and you say where the path is set and you can install it or you can remove it or remove an app or you can pull the app. That pretty much like, um, I'm gonna try to show you guys about that real quick. I may not have a phone, but I can at least show you something. Like data.app, you would say ADB ins like pull data backslash app backslash com dot a4 droid sql the whole path thing and it'll pull all the data from this and what it'll do is it'll take everything from here and install it on your phone and you'll have all the data from that but um you can also link your phone wirelessly forever on the same like not forever but like for that session you can pretty much like say adb wireless i believe it is but um yeah that is some really cool stuff adb pull install there's a whole bunch of commands you guys can do as you can tell um you can also reboot their phone, which will be fun if you wirelessly link it and just constantly reboot their phone. That'd be really fun. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of cool, cool commands you guys can do. Now, if you may not believe me, try it on your phone. RM, but, but make sure you have root permission because it is accessing data on your phone. So, yeah, that was my small tutorial on how to unlock a lock screen, no PC, no factory reset. And being completely epic while doing it. If you have any questions, comment below. Please like and subscribe. Or even just commenting something helps so much. I really love helping people. Because I remember when I was a newbie. And like people were like. It's like I'll be like, alright, so new tutorial. Someone help me. They're like, alright, so we're going to say that you have basic understanding. I'm like, no. That's the point here. I don't have the basic understanding. So I decided to help people. I've really tried really hard to make this video. It may not seem like it, but I've made this so many times because I wanted to get it completely right. So just leaving a comment would be awesome. If you guys have any problems, please comment below. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't explain something well. <laughs> Alright, HackerX, peace out.